holidays are the most festive time of year, but they can also be the most stressful. The feeling of gaining weight, receiving odd gifts, crowded areas, traffic, where well, you should be thinking, ho, ho, ho. Instead, you're thinking, no, no, no. 2015 will soon be out the door as we welcome 2016 in about a couple of hours. I caught up with people in downtown Sparkbrook to see what they had planned for the new year. It's game day and we're so excited for our Clips and Tigers as they take on the University of Alabama in the national championship. Although all of us aren't able to make the game, we can at least have our South Carolina pride. By, by South Carolina, I mean the home state. Not, never mind. No matter how hard someone tries to cover up flood water damage, there are still areas that are difficult to drive. For instance, if we took a look at this light here, there's still moisture there. And even if it dries, there still could be fogginess. During the next few weeks, many of us will be celebrating the holidays surrounded by friends and family. The, the feeling of giving and family and love is just it's a great atmosphere to be in and hopefully everyone will be in it all the time. Traveling stresses me out because either it's traffic on 85 or it's I'm having to travel through, through airports, TSA, all of that really stresses me out. Some people may even have to travel across the country. Really the favorite time for me is when I get to go home to California and visit my family during the holidays. People just trying to get to places and, and going out of town, it's just it's a lot of chaos. Um, out there, so that's probably the most stressful thing. The holidays are the most festive time of year, but they can also be the most stressful. The feeling of gaining weight, receiving odd gifts, crowded areas, traffic, where well, you should be thinking ho, ho, ho. Instead, you're thinking no, no, no. Traffic when you go shopping and making sure you buy the perfect gift. That's always the most stressful thing. And if shopping for the perfect gift is worrying you. Better question is have you started? And okay. the answer is no. Don't fret, you still have some time. For Scene on 7, I'm Ron Norman. 2015 will soon be out the door as we welcome 2016 in about a couple of hours. I caught up with people in downtown Sparkbrook to see what they had planned for the new year. Take me a trip. Just to exercise more. Okay. Try to get 10,000 steps a day on my Fitbit. 2016 is a great chance to start fresh on fitness goals, weight loss, whatever the case may be. Just keep a positive outlook on life. Stay humble. Pick God first, family second, and you know, money, money comes after. And hope uh, I can make more money than I made last year and make it this year. Yeah, I'm gonna use my crock pot more. My uh, girlfriend showed me how to use Pinterest, and so now I'm learning to use uh, all these recipes. No matter what happened last year, no matter what happened over the holidays, tomorrow is a new day. Whether you call them New Year's resolutions or not, I hope that you have a happy, healthy, and prosperous New Year. From Scene on 7, I'm Ron Norman. Go Clipson! It's game day and we're so excited for our Clips and Tigers as they take on the University of Alabama in the National Championship. Although all of us aren't able to make the game, we can at least have our South Carolina pride. By, by South Carolina, I mean the home state. Not, never mind. Oh, God. Well, I grew up a Carolina fan. Okay. So, but when one of your local team, I consider them local teams. They're both local. But whoever is, you know, in the big game, that's who you got to root for. I love Clemson. I've, I went to grad school there. I'm all in. I'm a big fan. We had season tickets this year. and We're absolutely loving the success of the Tigers this season. The Clemson Tigers had an amazing year. They are nationally ranked number one, have a 14-0 undefeated season, and are the 2015 Orange Bowl champions. Not to mention, Clemson sophomore quarterback Deshaun Watson was a finalist for the 2015 Heisman Trophy. Deshaun Watson, hey man, keep doing it dude. You don't go far, kid. Um, I think for his leadership capabilities, the humility, of course the talent, um, he's doing great things and I'm just real proud to see him represent the university. For those of us who will not make the big game, we send our well wishes and this bit of advice. Keep your eyes on the prize, folks, and you accomplish what you need to, man. We're so proud of you guys. Wish we could be there in Glendale, Arizona, uh, but we're pulling for you guys in Spartanburg, South Carolina, and we can't wait to see you bring home the championship. I just hope they just do a really good job. I think, I, I think they're going to win. For Scene on 7, I'm Ron Norman.
You can't buy most of the cars on this used car lot. It's obvious why. Owner Steve Wade says they'll be salvaged, but he warns. Some of the ones that that water just got in the floorboard that could be taken out and cleaned and you wouldn't know it. You know, always look at the title. That's rule number one. Then you've got to do a little investigating. Mechanic Harry Brady says one telltale sign of damage is when the car has been repainted. See that kind of a fuzzy looking paint right here? That shows that, that the spray over, when he sprayed this, the spray seeped through this door right here. And look in the seams for any chipping. Also, be sure to pull up the floor mat and carpet. If there's any rust at all, a little spots of rust down underneath there, it's got water damage. Under the hood, the engine may look clean, but more than a handful of rusty bolts could signal a big problem. No matter how hard someone tries to cover up flood water damage, there are still areas that are difficult to drive. For instance, if we took a look at this light here, there's still moisture there. And even if it dries, there still could be fogginess. You may even detect a musty smell long after a car has been dried out. Beware of sellers who use air fresheners, which is why an inspection by an independent mechanic is a must. Once you drive a used car off the lot, trying to get your money back is a process that could very well drive you crazy. In Spartanburg, Ron Norman, 7 on your side.